What up, Tube? I'm in here for some night work, man. Couldn't sleep or rather fell asleep early thinking about the job at hand. Instead of waiting till in the morning, I'm going to just come and tackle it now. Um, I still got a slight vacuum leak, and I'm thinking it might be coming from my EGR valve. If you have the 04 to 08 Nissan Maxima, and if you have the, what, uh, 04 to 06 Ultima SER, or just the 3.5 Ultima, if I'm uh, not mistaken. If you got the 3.5 Ultima, your EGR should be in the same place. Um, as of right now, I have the intake manifold off. I have my cold air intake out, and I had to take my Megan Racing strut bar off. So now we're in here to the EGR valve. The EGR valve is going to be located right under the throttle body, uh, literally right, right beneath it. As you can see with the wiring harness, this is for the EGR, this is for the throttle body. So right next to each other get that out the way so now let me just break down the script on what I'm getting right so got the pre-cats installed uh, still have a slight vacuum leak was trying to see what was really good with trying to pretty much get the car almost a hundred percent like I said as of right now I'm not running lean but I'm still getting high positive fuel trim numbers. So what that's leading me to believe is that I still have a vacuum leak somewhere, but all my connections match up perfectly. So now my next thing is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna try and see if I clean the EGR valve, if that'll help. Let me shine some light on the situation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove one, two, three and there's a fourth bolt right back here so we're going to remove these four bolts on the top and that'll give me access to the actual valve on the inside because this is the cooling plate right here so that'll give me actual space to that and what i'm going to do is i actually have some throttle body cleaner some electrical parts cleaner i'll clean the electrical connectors and then i'll get in there and really clean the EGR valve and uh, try and press it down and spray some throttle body cleaner in there and see if that'll help with some of the buildup and some of the carbon. Um, I'm actually going to use a uh, one of the brushes that you use to clean like your battery terminal. Um, so I'm actually just going to use that to get in there and clean the base of the uh, inlet and then clean the top, clean the base of the inlet right here and then to clean the inside of the valve. So hopefully this works. Hopefully, you know, even if it's not 100%, it'll stop it from sticking because that's what seems to be happening. In my case, my EGR valve must be sticking open. Ah, right, yeah, what up, too? So now um, I'm gonna just go the whole mile, B. I'm in here part my French fuck all that cleaning shit man I'm, I'm just gonna take this shit out so this is two let me see let me get some light on this for you guys all right so y'all can see that's one 12 millimeter and another 12 millimeter bolt and then once I get those two out I'm not sure if this will allow it to rotate or anything like that but uh, I'll see because I know there's like a screw portioning right back here. So I'll check that out. But definitely this shit got a leak. I was going to take the bolts out. But this was the only screw that was willing to come out. You see I uh, was trying to make a niche in here so I could just get a flathead screwdriver. But that didn't work out. And all the other bolts, the other two in the back, they're corroded like... The whole turning joint is smashed out so i'm like i'm gonna just take the whole damn thing out and just get a new one and that should fix my slight vacuum leak again there's really nothing else in this bitch that could possibly be leaking so egr valve definitely something to look at if you have a leak 
Um, again, whether you have the NWP spacing kit or not, and you have a leak, uh, you have any any uh, P1400 trouble codes would point towards your EGR valve. Uh, well, my EGR valve is pretty much uh, stuck open or it doesn't close all the way. So uh, with it not being able to close all the way, pretty much it's causing a small vacuum leak. So whatever is obstructing it as of right now with not being able to take this off, I'm not actually able to get to it. So I'm just going to replace it, team, and uh, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Alright team, something else worth mentioning, uh, just for anybody else trying to take out their EGR valve, uh, 0408 Nissan Maxima, uh, even if you have the 3.5 liter Ultima, uh, this is just a word of advice, you're going to need a ratchet, Oops, damn, fucking up, and a wrench, 12 millimeter, both, so you can, I mean, just use a wrench just to get this bolt right here because it's this bolt that's super super tight and you're gonna have to drop it in and I actually put my hand through here to catch it to break it loose something like this you always got to do some acrobatic extracurricular ish but as you see now I got it on Got it broken loose already, so it's gonna come right out. And we'll finish working on getting this out. Just wanna let you know too, uh, when you do take this hose and the rear hose off, some coolant will leak out. Uh, so be properly prepared. I'm gonna go grab a couple towels and have those on hand just to catch the leak. And let's get this shit off. Let's do it. So team, oh man. Needless to say, I got the EGR valve out, but not the way I wanted it though, baby. Like, look at this bum ass shit. I'm trying to get this lock nut off and a whole damn pipe break. Ain't that about a bitch. So, ordered a new one. I got a Airtex uh, EGR valve on the way. While I'm in here, I might as well change the PCV valve as well so I got a Airtex PCV valve on the way as well but um yeah man shit dead ass snapped off as you can see so what I'm doing right now with saturating in the back I'm gonna give y'all uh, a close eyeball look on what that look like and uh, I actually got some crawl wrenches so pretty much those should be able to help me uh, get in there and use it. I mean, got tools that, you know, never used in years, man, and now it should have come in handy. But, um, yeah, I'm going to give y'all that back portion in. Then after that, we're going to make the attempt to get that shit out because now I just got to take the whole pipe out. I got a new pipe on the way as well, too, coming in from Cali. So it's going to be a few days, man. It's like as soon as you fix one thing, some other bullshit happens. But... It's whatever right now, team. Uh, yeah, man. That's what it is. So, they get the EGR valve, EGR valve out, just not the way I wanted to. So now I gotta end up taking the whole pipe out, changing that. Uh, like I said, I'll change the EGR valve. My uh, other pipe that connects to the inlet on the EGR valve and the outlet on the intake manifold. Um, yeah, got that on deck. That's clean, ready to go. Just uh, waiting for the new EGR valve to come in. And yeah, man, that's that's the progress. Once that's in, hooked up, connected, I keep you on the loop, team. Hi, right, team. That's the damn pipe as a whole. Shit is. Uh, Definitely snapped off. Ain't no welding that shit back together. It's a wrap. So what I'm going to do is, but of course, I always recommend DW40 Penetrate. Specialist joint and released in rusty bolts. And what we're going to do is we're going to get in here. 
and we're just gonna saturate it. That's all we're doing right now until the parts come in. All we wanna do is just saturate, oops, saturate the hell out of this bulb. And that's what we're gonna do. saturate this shit. I'll, I'll waste the whole can saturating this shit. I, I honestly don't care at this point. Pick another one up. Small. there man come back and just keep saturating it every morning every night every morning every night until that part come in and I'm ready to break that bitch loose it should come right out so always rest release penetrates great DW40 keep it on hand